Everybody has stories about picking up pecans. We didn't get to play until we had filled up a one gallon paint jug. As a child, I think a lot of us they had an opportunity to go with our grandparents and pick up some pecans from the ground. I picked them at the park at my and grandpa's. How many pecans do you think you've picked in your life? Hundreds. In all of North America, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Southern Missouri, and Southern Kansas, it's the only place in the world you find native pecans native. grandmother is Full Blood Creek. It was typical for Muscogee Creek and the other tribes to go out and forage in the forest and find all kinds of things. It just grew naturally. There's no doubt that pecans added to the sustenance for the Muscogee Creek in the southeast and here. <laughs> what do they look like? They're round like an oval. They're very tasty. You can make pecan pie. You can make pecan cookies. If you met a girl at school, she never had a pecan in her life. What would you say to her? Eat them. My dad started shelling pecans in 1973, and whenever I came along, I wanted to start shelling just as soon as I could. This last year, in June, I purchased the business from my parents. You know, it is kind of interesting, almost like wine. <laughs> if, you, if you taste a paper shell right next to a native, you can really tell the difference. My grandfather purchased the farm in 1915, and they developed this orchard and grove of pecan trees into what it is today. Most of these trees were already here. They were planted or they took root naturally through the overflows of the Deep Fork River. And we have cleared the underbrush and the wilderness from around them and provided an area for them to grow. Every generation is that one more generation further away from the farm. Whether it's pecans or whether it's where their milk comes from, it's important that this generation, every generation, understand the importance of food. Over these years, these trees have sustained my family. This is where I come from. We cannot take it for granted. What do we need to protect? And how do we protect it? And how to preserve our way of life for the future? Every society has had an opportunity to uh, enjoy the taste of the native pecan.